Um, right, well, we've been hearing the, the mantras of all the main political parties this morning, more mantras than a Buddhist temple, frankly. But here we are. We've got Lucy Thomas, Deputy Director of Business for New Europe. Uh, we're going to speak to... Hello. 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 And Simon Richards, uh, Chief Executive of the Freedom Association. Hello to you, Simon Richards. Good morning. Uh, Lucy Thomas, This uh, the, the European dream got a kick in the kahunas, didn't it? Um, yeah, I think I think undoubtedly um, there is a clear message coming from those who went to the polls. And let's remember that, you know, it wasn't a huge turnout um, in the UK, you know, something around 30 uh, percent. And so, you know, this isn't the voice of everybody. Um, and I think actually, if you look particularly in the UK again at recent polling, as recently as Thursday, when people were going to the polls, a YouGov survey found that more people, if there were a referendum on EU membership tomorrow, would vote to remain in, 42% to 37%. So I think it's it's wrong to sort of read across automatically the results of these elections as um, saying that everybody wants to leave. Um, I think I think that would be wrong. Um, Simon Richards, respond to that. It's, it's certainly true that not everybody wants to leave, but there is a message here, and I'm surprised in a way that people are so surprised by um, by last night's results. Um, because if you look at where UKIP's gone, they've gone from being fourth to third to second to first. Now, there's a bit of a pattern there. And if you look at the Lib Dems in particular, you know, they've gone the other way. Uh, and you, you just wonder, you know, what part of, uh, of, of wanting to leave the EU they just don't get. Now, I think what's happened in this campaign is that the, the UKIP involvement has polarised opinion. But the point I'd like to make is there's more to this than just UKIP. I mean, I was delighted. There, there were 25 uh, MEPs elected so far from, from the UK who support our Better Off Out campaign. And that includes two Conservatives, um, Daniel Hannan, for example. Uh, and what I, I think will happen is, and what we need to happen, is to have a much broader debate about actually why this country would be better off out of the EU. It's not all about immigration. There's lots of good trade and democrat, de- democratic reasons for leaving the EU. OK, thank you both very much. Uh, more of your calls to come, 0500 999 693.